We came home and we had a really cool package from Playmobil. Playmobil, you guys. Look at this. We have the a series of 13 of uh, Playmobil figurines. We got four for the boys and four for the girls. All right, and remember last time we had these and all of them were completely the same? They felt so bad. We had opened up the girls one and all four of them were exactly the same. And we opened up the boys and they were all four exactly the same. All right, guys, let's take a look at now, these. Now, Playmobil. Yeah. Are these going to be different? <laughs> yeah, we're going to try. We're hoping that they will be. the same? Well, it looks like we just have bad luck. We just have bad luck. That's right. All right, Ben. So let's go ahead and open them up. You want to do yours first? I'll do boys, yeah. All right. All right, so I just got it. Um, All right, so let's I... see the paper inside. While you're putting it together, I'm going to show them the figurines that are in this series for this one while Ben is putting that together. Here we go. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, and then it also has some instructions on the back here. All right, Ben, you want to take a look at the instructions? All right, so while Ben's doing his, I'm going to open up one for the girls. All right, let's take a look. Oh, this one has a lot of pieces. They're always so cute. All right, so let's take a look at the figurines that are in this series for the girls. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put mine together. How cute! All right, so the first one up for the girls is the snow skier. That is super cute. How is yours coming along? Let's see. Good. Who did you end up getting? Um, I think it's a biker. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Let's see him up close. Hold him up. Let's see what he looks like. He's got some tools though. Maybe he's working on his motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got different ones that you can add. That's pretty cool, right? I'm gonna do what the photo looks like. All right. Oh, that's what it looks like on the photo? That's what it looks like. All right, let's see him. That's it. That's the one he's got. Super cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, fingers crossed, you guys, that it's not a duplicate. No duplicate, no duplicate. Is it a duplicate? It's a duplicate! Oh no, don't even put that one together. Let's open up another one. <laughs> All right, here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a girl one and let's see if this is a duplicate. Oh, no duplicate, no duplicate, no duplicate. Oh no, that's a duplicate. <laughs> oh no! We're gonna keep opening them, you guys. Fingers crossed. Just peek in there and see what you see. You're kidding me. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, do your last one and then I'll do my two. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No dupe, no dupe, no dupe. Duplicate? It is a duplicate. It's the same one. Wow. Wow. Okay, I have a feeling that mine are also going to be duplicates, but let's open them up and see. All right, you it guys. Is. Yep, it's that's the skier, and I'm pretty certain that this is also going to be the skier. Yep. No. No, this one is different. We have one different one. <laughs> Look, this one is of different. Of course, it's for the girls. Of course, it's for the girls. Let's hear it for the girls. Let's hear it for the girls. She's pretty cool. You guys, this is so cute. Oops. She's got her toolbox and she's ready to go. 
Thank you, Playmobil, for sending us these awesome toys. Yes, thank you so much for always thinking about us, Playmobil. Guys, I want to give you an update on my seedlings that I had posted um, as well. I want to show you what they look like. They've actually started to root right in the soil. So let me show you. It looks cool. All right, so those are on top. And you can see where they're starting to sprout. That's the basil. Now the other ones are underneath the soil. But I don't want to disturb it. <laughs> but they should be sprouting. There's one right there. That's a parsley. That one's got a little bit of a sprout coming out of it. So, yeah, guys, it's coming along. I spray it just a couple times a day. I do have to be careful um, when the sun directly gets over here because it creates a lot of moisture inside. And I know you don't want to get it too wet because then you'll create mold and then you just, you don't want that. But, and I don't think you really need it by the light when they're germinating like this. So, but I'm going to leave it here anyway. And then this is going to be a little experiment. This here is a seed from Benjamin's apple. And I'm going to just try it and see. We had apple trees growing up as kids. My dad actually had two of them. Have you guys ever had like fruit trees? We actually have a, a peach tree that was at our house when we moved here. But I don't know how well it's doing um, from here looking at it right now. It's, it's pretty dead looking. But it, that might be normal because I don't know the process. But there was one year it generated really good fruit and peaches. But you have to get them off early because of the... The animals are, you know, like the, I don't know what the bugs that get into the fruit. They like to, you know, go through the fruit. Um, and I don't know what to spray them with that's healthy and, you know, non-toxic, if you will. I'd have to look all that kind of stuff up. I should try to revive it and see if I can't get it producing some fruit again this year. Because the one year that it did, it, those peaches were so good. Um... And I know, like, with an apple tree, it's going to take years before it actually produces any apples, per se. But, um, I don't know. I think it'd just be fun to <laughs> try to grow it, right? It doesn't cost anything but energy from our sun. And I'm also going to do an avocado tree. Um, that looks pretty easy to do as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be making something today that I'm going to use avocado with. And, um... I do know that with avocado trees, before it even produces avocados, it takes three to four years. Now, if I wanted to purchase a um, mature avocado tree, no, not completely mature in height because they can get like, I don't know, seven foot tall, I think. Um, don't hold me to that. I, I've been just starting my research on that. But um, I think to buy one of those trees I had found online, it would cost around $110 or something like that. And I don't know. I'm, I'd am i hate to spend that kind of money and then it not work. I'd rather just practice myself with these seedlings and see how they do and if I can keep them alive. That is probably the most dangerous part of the process anyway, like where they're most um, uh, vulnerable, if you will. So... Anyways, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. And Brooke comes home today, so we're excited to be able to see her. We haven't seen her in a few days. Oh, and I started this, you guys. Look at this. Check this out. All right, that's Brooke's bunny. We'll set that aside. These are seedlings that I'm starting. Um, this is like cherry tomatoes, but they're the they were organic and they were multicolor. So there's a dark red, a red, there was a yellow, and an orange, and I squeezed the seedlings out of a couple of them and put them in these cups and so right now we have to do the fermentation process and that'll be about six days or so and then after that I will drain those and clean the seeds as best I can and then lay them out to dry for a few days and then I can start germinating them as well. Do any of you guys do stuff like this? At our old house when we used to live in Maryland, I had so many plants. I loved plants. And when I moved here, I got rid of them all because I didn't want to transport them. <laughs> and the only plant I have is that one lonely one down, down on the end there. And I got to repot that one because it's been slow growing, which means it must be a little root bound in there. And so I got another pot out in the garage. I should probably get that done today. But, um, yeah, I used to really love doing the plants and things. I've always had good luck with them. So, I figure, why not, right? Here is the big reveal, if you will.
Did you guys really think I was going to show you that easily? No, I got to leave you hanging for tomorrow. You got to come back for more, right? Um, yeah, you guys, we got something pretty exciting to show you guys. You can make a guess in the comments below. I'm not going to tell you if you're right, but maybe the next day I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, and tomorrow's video is actually going to have a little bit of the uh, footage from that day of filming. Um, it was just an extra piece I wanted to throw in for you guys to uh, get you excited about what we want to show you guys. Um, but yeah, make some comments down below. So look, if you guys are new, please be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And <laughs> Ben's in the shower, y'all here. And um, be sure to turn you know the notifications on and ask for YouTube to let you know when we upload all the time and not just ever so often. And then, um, yeah, you guys know what to do. Buzz that like button. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.